Hey everybody, this is Paul, 125 Roller Coaster Challenge here at our home park of Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania, right outside Harrisburg. And we're going to do the full park walkthrough. So when you walk in the entrance, which is right here, you go to your right, right there is the new guest services. This is considered the Chocolate Town section. And the biggest thing they have here is they got the Kiss Fountain right in front of you there with the brand new hyper coaster called Candymonium. So let's go do a full walkthrough of this beautiful park. Now, first thing you're going to do is, you know, you see the uh, Kiss Fountain, but right there in front of you is the Carousel. So the Carousel is the brand new pavilion here. This whole section is new. That right there is the exit, and we're going to catch that a little bit later with the Chocolatier Restaurant. And right up there on the balcony there, right along the old arena is actually uh, outdoor seating for the Chocolatier. And, you know, we might as well show you guys the uh, whole front here. So this all came into existence in 2022. Uh, actually, check it out. Right here is Candymonium. So this is the historic carousel, and they moved it from a pavilion that we're gonna see in a second, and they put it right here, which is great because right before you leave the park, you uh, can grab one last ride on that historic ride there. So after you go to guest services, if you go to the left, that's where the rest of the park is. And of course, right in front of you here, you have to have a Starbucks because every park now has a Starbucks, right? All right. Now they have over here on this side, on the uh, left-hand side of the main walk, you have the uh, Hershey Park Collections, which is a big, uh, fancier gift shop there. And uh, right over here by the Starbucks, let me show you what's out here. You have a locker right in front of you. And then pretty much you go down this side, and that's how you get into Candymonium, which is the new B&M Hyper, uh, founded, uh, basically built in 22. Let's show you a nice little close-up of that. So this is all brand new, too. This is all from 22. But there's a shot of the carousel. And right over here, you have lockers. Candymonium goes right above you right here, which is kind of neat. And then they have a Hyper Deck, which I have actually never done, though. But it's one of the newer uh, attractions here. Uh, pretty much is a VR experience, but one of these days I'm going to try it out. So as we come around this corner here, we're going to be leaving the new section. And right there, that building right there, used to be the old um, sky ride that used to take you to the back of the park in the old days. And if you look over here, you see that path right there. Check out our video that says Sky Rush's Secret Path, and that's where that is. Now as you come into... Um, the main section here, you've got uh, Hershey Park Go, which is, you know, their front of the line thing and stuff like that. You got a gift shop, and of course you got Kettle Corn, which uh, Hershey Park is actually famous for the Kettle Corn. It is fantastic. It is a great addition to the park. And right there, that's the traditional building there where the old Sky Ride used to be. At one point, it used to be a kosher place, but it looks like there's nothing in there right now. Of course, you got Dippin' Dots, because every amusement park is Dippin' Dots. And right here is the Christmas store, which we'll show off in a short video coming up soon. But that's open year-round. Now we're coming to what used to be called Carousel Circle. Uh, you have a Nathan's Hot Dogs and a Pepsi Fast Fill. And a Dispatch Pizza, which seems to be their main pizza place. So this is old Carousel Circle, and if you see right in the foreground there, you actually see the old pavilion where the carousel was for years. But to come over here, you got a small little gift shop, and of course you got the Milton Hershey Fountain right here. All right, so here you got a lot of different rides. You got the balloon ride, you got Starship America, which if you are familiar with the history of Hershey, this actually used to be where the old uh, two-tier uh, uh, Ferris wheel used to be. Now, I am happy they didn't get rid of this pavilion. Uh, it's iconic, but they really don't do much with the pavilion right now. And then all along the side there, you've got Tilden Worlds, you've got kids' rides, and all that. But the main path goes this way, so we're going to take you down the main path. Here's the inside of the pavilion. They basically just have seating right now. We don't know if they're gonna keep it or what, but you know, eventually they might do something more with it. So as you come by here, you've got a scrambler over there. And here you've got the lemon drop, lemonade stand. 
and here's your photography services. So when you get pictures taken, you can come here at the end of the day and get them all. Now here, the 1906 Grill, uh, they have a cookie area and donuts on the end, a Pepsi fill, uh, but they have a big, uh, pretty much standard fare when it comes to the food. And then on the other side of it, you got a Subway, and you got souvenirs and gifts. But actually, in this area too, there's also where you can get fudge. And I'm a huge fan of the fudge. But yep, so this is uh, pretty much the biggest uh, food place in the front of the park. Now up here, you're going to come to a, uh, a Y in the road here. You can go down to the right, which is Comet Hollow. Or you can go up this direction that takes you to uh, pretty much the Music Box Theater area. So we're going to go down into the Hollow. Now, we actually did a shorter video of the Hollow uh, earlier this year. So if you, uh, yeah, you've seen that, you're going to basically be reliving it again. But this area of the Hollow is pretty much the uh, traditional park where most of the rides were. And right over to your right here is a Comet. And right above you is uh, Skyride. Uh, so it's a lot smaller than the original Skyride, which you can see before, but Skyride's going. Now what we're gonna do is do an outer loop area of the park, but we're gonna show you a little cut across. And one of the cut across is, is right over here. If you go over that direction, it takes you out by the Aqua Theater and takes you out there by the uh, Trailblazer. But we're gonna head out this way and go through the hollow. And right here is the entrance to the Comet, which is a traditional wooden coaster. And then over here, of course, you got Ski Ball, uh, one of my personal favorites. But they also got my second favorite, the Whack-A-Mole. So, but that's where Ski Ball is. Now, as you come over here, you do have a flat ride, the Wave Swinger, which is a traditional uh, flying trapeze they have here. And of course, the yellow guy you see right in front of you there, that is Sky Rush which is one of the top roller coasters in the country. We've already done a couple uh, shorts that show you everything you need to know about Sky Rush. And as you walk over here, right above us there, that light blue track is Great Bear, which goes right under the, another Dispatch Pizza, which it looks like it's actually open, which is rare because it's hardly ever open when I come here. But right in front of you, that is also Great Bear right in front of you. And Sky Rush has a pretty good crowd already. It's pretty early in the morning, but people are there. And then, of course, that orange train right in front of us is the Super Duper Looper. Now, if you look over here by the Sky Rush, that, if we took that path that I told you before earlier, this is where it ends up. So you skip all that other stuff you've done. There goes Sky Rush going up the hill. All right, so now we're going to wrap around this side which takes you right to the Super Duper Looper, which is a traditional uh, looping coaster by Schwarzkopf. Uh, Hershey Park actually revamped it pretty good. It's actually in great shape now. And there, there's another train going up, so they got some great dispatches going. And right above it, you can see the loop there for Super Duper Looper, which is now painted white, which is new. But uh, right above it is Great Bear. Now this is the main creek here, it's called Spring Creek. It cuts right through the middle of the park. You get a great view over on this side there, Spring Creek, with Great Bear going by it. And in a second, we're gonna actually have the Super Duper Looper going through the loop. There it is. That's a looper. Now you go up this way, it takes you up to, in the old days it used to be called Mine Town, uh, but they really kind of call it a Kissing Tower Hill now for lack of a better word. But um, it's a little bit of an incline, it's not too bad. Um, Hershey Park does have some hills, but it's not close to Dorney Park. There's the turnaround of the Sky Ride, and there's the uh, big loop of the Great Bear. So, Mine Town really kind of condensed. At one time, it used to have a lot of different things that were part of Mine Town. Uh, really, now the only thing that really fits into the Mine Town theme is the Coal Cracker, which is over here to the right. In the background, you see the uh, new Twin Towers, the Reese's, and you see uh, there goes Great Bear. You can hear that thing coming a mile away. So, as you come up here on the right hand side, you're going to see the East Coast Mini Donuts, which kind of like when you talk about the uh, Kettle Corn. 
it is a, pretty much becoming the favorite snack of many people here at the park. Hey, 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 boys, now, if you come over this side here, the Overlook is a place where you can get beer, and it's probably one of the best food courts. I always go here when I come to the park. Uh, it's air conditioned inside, or you can sit outside. And of course, here you got a basketball game. And as you get to the top here, you're gonna see right in front of you Tower Fries. So if you're looking for uh, cheese fries and things like that, that's where you wanna go. Now, we're gonna do a more in-depth walkthrough of this section, which is now pretty much called Kissing Tower Hill. But an overview, one of the two big arcades here is over on the right-hand side. And we're gonna walk over this way real quick here, because I do wanna show you a couple of the attractions here. And the main one right here is the entrance to the Great Bear which is the B&M Inverted Coaster. Now this is one of the older parts of the park, so as you can tell, it's well shaded. A lot of the other areas of this park are not quite as shaded as this is. But uh, Great Bear opened up, um, I think it was May 20th of 98. Uh, and I know that because that was actually my wedding anniversary at one time. And here's a nice little food court here that's actually not open. Uh, that's more of the uh, where you want to get gluten free and all that stuff. But as you come up here, why do they call it Kissing Tower Hill? Well, here's the main reason right here. You have the classic cars and you have the speedway. You have a nice little fountain here. But there you go, the Kissing Tower, which was actually closed all of last year. And because of COVID, it's hard to cram people into that thing uh, during COVID. But so now we're going to come over this way. Here's the stage. They do have characters that come here sometimes. It's actually nice and quiet here, so we're at, once again, Kissing Tower Hill. And uh, the only real attractions here are the uh, Log Flume and uh, Great Bear and stuff. But here is the Antique Cars. And there's a restroom facility there, which pretty much you're hugging the edge of the park. Which is important, because in a second I'll show you why that's important. Now, a neat thing is usually you have guest services in one spot. But right there on the right-hand side is actually more guest services. And like I said, you got a lot of midway games here. You got the ring toss, and you got the ball bounce thing and all that. As you come over here, you're gonna have a kid's ride and such. But right here, you actually see this deer, and that is the original entrance to the park years ago before in the 70s when they switched it over to that new entrance but what's important here is and we're gonna be doing a full video on this later on today but right there is the entrance to Zoo America All right. now the red coaster right in front of you is Storm Runner which is a launch coaster uh, basically accelerator coaster by Intamin and then of course you have a new pop star area brand new for this year which is basically the other side of that food court. And then you have the Triple Towers. Now, if you go down this way, if you head down this way, that takes you to uh, pretty much the midway section. Uh, it takes you back there by bumper cars and kind of where we did the split with the hollow, that's where that takes you. But we're actually gonna take this path. Oh, here comes Reese. Reese's getting ready to launch. Let's take a second and check out Reese. The noise really builds the anticipation. And I'm talking about really building the anticipation here. All right, maybe it won't launch. There it goes. All right. So we're going to go down this path. Now this path takes you out to the Pioneer Frontier section, which basically has the, uh, it has a Western feel down here. And it, this is probably the hilliest part of Hershey Park, coming down this area and then going back up. But we're doing a full park walkthrough, so we're going to show you pretty much the entire outer loop of this park. So as we come down here, Used to be a very quiet section, but not so much anymore with Storm Runner and, of course, the loudness of the Twin Towers, which we're dealing with right now. Right there is Storm Runner. Get you another view here. 
This is probably my favorite uh, coaster at the park, but it is extremely short. There it goes. All right. So, pretty much if you go down this way, it takes you back to the hollow. So it'll take you right over where I showed you before the bridge. But right here is the aqua theater, the entrance, where they have sea lion shows throughout the year. This is actually probably the quietest and one of the prettiest sections here because uh, really you just have a catering section right here. That's the uh, Trailblazer catering. And then here you actually get Spring Creek. So Spring Creek actually starts in the zoo and then it flows this way and it flows over here. So you get a lot of swans and ducks. Now over here to your right is the Trailblazer roller coaster, which was the first uh, steel coaster here at Hershey Park. Uh, great family ride. Now in the beginning, it wasn't much of a family ride. It was actually a thrill ride uh, during the days of Arrow, but now it's pretty much a family ride. And over here is probably one of my favorite places to eat, which is the uh, Spring Creek Smokehouse. Now at one point, this used to be an independent um, vendor, but now Hershey's taking it over there. So you don't have the quite, before you used to actually see the smokers and stuff, and now you don't quite have that. And if you show over, send over here, you actually have the grill and the Trailblazer Theater where they have a lot of cowboy type shows. All right, so now we're gonna head up the hill, which is probably one of the steepest hills, right along Trailblazer. Actually, right here's the menu if you wanted to see what's over at the smokehouse. So now we're going to head up the hill here. So this is Pioneer Frontier. And as we go up this hill here, uh, you actually see the train. Trailblazer's right there on your right with the steel track. Above it is the train. And then, actually, as you go around this bend here, you're actually going to get the Storm Runner. Now, yet again, like I said, we are taking the, uh, the outer loop of the park. So there's a lot of cut across. And we'll show you those where we're going. So you see the red track. Now you might see in the foreground there, a green and purple pinkish thing. That is the brand new kind of um, Jolly Ranch remix. It's basically the old Sidewinder uh, boomerang that they had. And now they kind of dolled it up a bit there. They added a lot of different things and we're gonna be doing a separate video on that uh, coming soon. But right there is the track for Storm, Race, uh, Storm Runner. And here you go. All the propaganda for the remix. Now as we come over this section here, we're gonna to come to uh, the main food court area, which we've done some, some stuff on before. So right there, you got Krabby Fries, you got all kind of food that you want. But let's take a second here and show you the remix. So you got mixed up, Mixed flavor by Jolly Rancher, which is right there in the middle. It's a Zampilla ride. And then behind it, you actually have the Jolly Rancher, which is, like I said, it's a boomerang. I go with the philosophy of putting lipstick on the pig, but they do have a couple more bells and whistles. All right, so now we're gonna head out to the main area here. Like I said, over here is the food court, and we did a thing on the food court. There's a show on the food court if you wanna check it out. Now we're going over the bridge, which basically goes over the train tracks. And we'll do a POV of the train eventually. Now if you look over to your left, you're gonna see Howler, which is one of the better flat rides they have here. And right in front of us, the orange is Fahrenheit, which is another Intamin. Uh, this one's more of a twister style. So if we're going this way, which we will do again soon, this takes you back to Music Box Theater. We're gonna head out this way, which is taking you out to Midway America. So on the right, you actually have a Burke's hot dog stand. Uh, some of the better hot dogs here. There's also a henna tattoo that is not open today. And right there is the entrance to Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's stuck on the lift hill. So. Cause it's an Intamin. So if you look over to the right there, that is the boardwalk. You can see all the water slides and all that kind of stuff there. Now, this doesn't open for another week because it's not Memorial Day. But here we're heading back to the back of the park, uh, what we like to call the Midway America. Uh, but that's some great shots there of Fahrenheit, uh, which is a very underappreciated ride. And also, right there, they actually stuck a family ride here. 
So the one thing you're going to notice, which is great about this uh, park, is Mr. Hershey always thought the family should play together. So unlike the Cedar Fairs or Six Flags parks, where you kind of lock everybody into uh, kids sections, here you got kids rides right next to adult rides. The family gets to play together. Here they actually got some food trucks. You got the East Coast Mini Donuts truck, of course. You've got uh, empanadas, and uh, you got Rita's water ice. And as you can tell, everything's blocked off here, but this is the boardwalk and the shore at Hershey Park. Now, if you checked out some of our older videos uh, from April, you're gonna notice that uh, there's a big change over here with Tidal Force, because before, Tidal Force was pretty much closed for the season, and it was pretty much dry. Well, right now, it looks like Tidal Force is going, which is actually a smart thing to do, because it is about 95 degrees today. So there's Tidal Force. Here they are loading the boats. Now this is a traditional shoot the shoots And it's kind of like the centerpiece there. It's kind of neat how they have Tidal Force right next to uh, the water park. But you get the giant waves. And then over here on this path right over there, you actually have the kettle corn, which of course, everybody loves the kettle corn. Uh, so much so that they actually have two locations for the mini donuts and two locations for the uh, kettle corn now. So now notice how wet everything is here. So this guy gives you a nice big wave. But they kind of blocked off the old days you used to be able to stand on that bridge and get nailed. Now they don't let you do it anymore. And one thing with Tidal Force, I do want to let you know, you have to wear shoes. So um, you can't just go there barefoot out for the water park. You actually have to have these shoes on. All right, so now we're really in the Midway section, Midway America. And look over to your uh, left here, you actually see a Subway and a uh, Chickies and Pete's Krabby Fries. And over here you have Dis Dispatch Pizza which is kind of another way to get into the water park, which of course the water park is closed. As you can see, there's the East Coast Surf Shop also closed. Probably that won't open again until the, uh, they get the water park going. Now we're walking up the path here uh, to get to the back end of the park. So basically this is where the main uh, entrance is. Uh, you're pretty much right up against the highway. And if you look over here to your right, there's a wild mouse. Actually, if you look over here to your left, there's Wildcat, which a lot of rumors are coming out here saying that it's going to be RMC'd. And uh, the legend on In The Loop literally uh, saw some uh, you know, footers and stuff like that. So we're hoping that's true. Let's head over here. Now the back of the park here is pretty good. Now I would like to do a water park loop, but like I said, the water park is pretty much closed. So we're gonna walk down all the way out to Lightning Racer. Then we're going to come back. So we did a, a walkthrough of this section earlier. So if you want more in depth, you can definitely check out that video uh, that we launched about a month ago. But of course you got Dippin' Dots here, and you got Wildcat. So also back here, you actually have a kosher food truck. So like I mentioned before, we used to have the kosher stuff used to be right pretty much uh, right when you walked into the park. Looks like they moved it now out of that main building. And now it's over at the, uh, right there in the food truck in the corner there. Now this big building in front of us is the Laugh Track, which is uh, pretty much an indoor mouse, but it spins. And the theming is one of the better themes to a fun house. And if you're uh, familiar with the highway coming in, you know it's right up against there, so. All right, so this section is a little bit quieter. It definitely picks up a lot more during the water park section, but here you actually got restrooms and changing rooms, and pretty much this whole area is surrounded. The middle part is the uh, water park. But there's the uh, Ferris wheel going. And it looks like they got the water rides going. I think they're just doing it to test and make sure everything's working, but we're gonna go over there and take a little peek over here in the corner. Because, you know, why not? So the boardwalk does not open until Memorial Day weekend, uh, historically. But it looks like they're doing some testing here, so... It looks like they got that whole water section going full steam ahead here. I mean, they, it is gushing water everywhere. So you got the big bucket there. So that's the East Coast Waterworks. And right there is their big funnel ride that they have. So that will be opening up pretty much in a week. 
Now, I'm still debating if I'm actually gonna do any water park videos because the way we film is eh, kind of different than most people. We don't come with a lot of equipment. But over here, we got some family attractions. We got the granny bugs uh, and the pony parade. And those have been around forever and they've been moved around a lot. Um, right in front of us here is Lightning Racer, which is a GCI racing coaster. So we're pretty much at the far back of the park now. So from here, we have to backtrack. So we're gonna wrap it around here. This is Tiny Tracks. I love the fact that they actually put Tiny Tracks right there because when Lightning Racer opened up, which is the entrance is right here, um, they had a huge queue. And as you can tell, the queue is not needed anymore, so they actually put a flat ride there for kids. And then here you got some traditional rides. You actually have the Music Express, which is basically the Himalaya style ride. And right next to that, you have the whip. So, but all in all, this is, you know, the Midway America, some traditional rides. Uh, they got a lot of games here too. They got the High Striker, which looks like it's gone. Uh, there's no High Striker there. And of course the Ferris wheel there has got the iconic pinwheel logo that they've had uh, pretty much forever. Uh, just a great logo. All right, so now we're gonna be walking all the way back to the, uh, midway section so we're going to pause right now and then we're going to open it up back up when we get to uh fahrenheit all right we are back over here at the fahrenheit uh right by the uh, boardwalk there so we saved you about 10 minutes of me just huffing and puffing all the way uh back to uh the v again so the one problem with uh, this park in particular is uh there's only one way in and one way out and there's a lot of backtracking when it comes to this park uh, while a lot of parks are circular and uh, you know, think of like Islands of Adventure where you go around the entire rim. Here you kind of lie dead ends. But that just goes by the expansion that this park took. So right over here is the entrance to Fahrenheit and right in front of us is actually the Howler, which I, I spoke before is one of the better uh, flat rides that they have at this park. All right, so over there that takes you over to the Jolly Rancher Remix and down to uh, the Trailblazer. We're gonna head this way, this takes us over to the Midway. Uh, they call this the music box area because there is a music box theater right here. Yet again, we see another dip in dots. And like I said, Howler, if you like spinny rides, that's one of the best flats. Now this area in particular at one point had a Conestoga, which is kind of like a flying carpet ride. It had numerous other rides in this area, so uh, we don't know how long Howler will be there. As you come over here, we got a store, Pioneer Souvenirs, because I guess we're kind of like in the music box and also the Pioneer area. You got Fahrenheit Catering over there. You got a shootout, games. And then actually, if you look over in this section here, there's a bridge. But when you get over to the bridge, you got that food court I mentioned before, right by Jolly Rancher Remix. They also have some kiddie rides there too. Now the biggest uh, arcade at this park is the Play Dome, which is located right here. At one point, that was the old part of the park. So that's where the park ended. So everything we just went through is actually in the last 20 years, maybe 30 years. So that's the Play Dome. Right over here, you got the Family Health Service Center uh, and also the employee entrance. As you come over here to the key, you have a bridge over here that would take you over to the food court and also the flyers because uh, a lot of parks now have the flyers everywhere. Now, I guess this would be considered more of the music box area. And right over here you've got, uh, you know, another Pepsi refill. And you got some flat rides here. you got the claw from the other video. You can, we did a focus on the claw. And of course over there you got the uh, Captain Jack pirate. There goes the pirate ship. So as we come down here, um, you know, everybody's getting more and more corporate and Hershey Park is no different. And we actually have right in front of us here a Chick-fil-A because uh, now it's Sunday, so of course it's closed. It's, you know, I admire them doing that considering how much money they lose at amusement parks and football games, but here's some more games. Dips Ahoy and Captain Splash. There's the pirate ship. And then that blue track above us is a monorail and we're gonna be doing a uh, POV of the monorail soon, so you can get a full uh, account of the monorail, which would be fun. 
And over here you got restrooms with the Chick-fil-A cow. And then right over here is the Music Box Theater, which is what this section is named after. Now the one thing about here with the Music Box Theater is they always have characters. And right now it looks like you got the chocolate bar is hanging with you. Have a great day. And then over here, you got a basketball shot again. There's a lot of those. I think that's the third or fourth one I caught on it. Now, over here, that building right in front of me there used to be Mr. B's uh, videography, a uh, video key. But that is long gone because it looks like the Pepsi Rockstar took it over. Wow, they got Dippin' Dots right here. That's pretty close. Right here is the entrance to the monorail. And then... As you go by here, you got a little baby wave swinger there. You got a lot of family rides there. Here's a uh, little pirate ship going. You got Fender Bender. You have some midway games here. And right around here is the Reese Cup Fusion, which is a uh, pretty much a newer version of the uh, uh, Cup Challenge. They uh, revamped it, new technology. It's actually a lot better than it used to be. Um, right here is the Nut Hut. And then right there is Simply Chocolate, which is where you can get those giant milkshakes that you, everybody talks about. Here's the Minty Bees and all that. So that's Cup Fusion. As we come around here, we are coming to the end of our walkthrough because right up here is the Lemon Drop and the Pretzels and the Sky View and the Funnel Cake Shop. But the reason why we're coming to the end of our journey is because... Right over here is how you get to Comet Hollow. So we now did the full loop around. We started out going through Comet Hollow and then up through Pioneer Frontier, the Midway and everything. But here we are now coming out the other side, walking towards the main entrance. So you still have this funnel point there. It got better than it did, but it's still not perfect. But right there's a subway, there's Sky Rush in the background. So walk in here. So that is our full walkthrough of Hershey Park. Uh, thank you for joining us here. It's going to be like a 33-minute video. Uh, would have been a lot longer if I didn't cut out that uh, backtrack. But um, Hershey Park, one of the best independent parks in the world. And uh, we're proud to call this our home park. Uh, we've been uh, coming here for 40-some years now. And, um, yeah, it's just a great park. So we're going to end you guys right here at the iconic uh, old Carousel Pavilion. So this is Paul 125 Roller Coaster Challenge. And have yourself a great day.